welcome to Flutter, Android and iOS AR Furniture app. In this course, we are developing the Flutter Augmented Reality Furniture app, which is basically the IKEA clone app. So anyways, let's just start over this project. Open up the Android Studio and click this new Flutter project. Then make sure that Flutter is selected from here and then click next. Now here we have to write our project name. Remember the project name must be in small English alphabets. Do not use capital letter. And also you cannot give space. For example, if I give it my this project name as AR furniture app, let's say. So there is no need. I mean, you cannot give space. Instead of space, you can write underscore. Okay, just like this. So let's name it furniture AR furniture app. Instead of space, as I told you, use underscore, just like this. So AR underscore furniture underscore app. So this is our project name. Let me tell you again, the project name must be in small English alphabets and please do not give any space. Then after it comes the description, as you know, project location, that is where you want to save your project. So I want to save it on my desktop. So on the desktop, AR furniture app, Flutter project will be created. So description, that is what description you want to give to your project. So I will simply say project description, you can give anything like, for example, this one is Flutter augmented reality, augmented reality IKEA clone app, I will say. Just like this. Then after it, Project type application will be selected by default. Make sure that application is selected. Then after it, the organization that is your website or you can type here for example this organization due to this it will also give by default our application ID for the Android and for the iOS. So for example your website or let's say your name you can type here I am writing my own name that is Muhammad Ali. Okay it will be in this format that is com dot let's say your name is john so you can write com dot john let's say your name is ruby so you can say com dot ruby my name is muhammad ali so i say com dot muhammad ali okay just like this and then after it for the android kotlin is selected for the ios swift is selected however for which platform we are developing this application make sure that android and ios is selected we do not want it for the linux mac os web or windows we just want to develop it for the Android smartphones and for the iPhone, that is iOS. So make sure that these two are selected, then click finish. So our project is now creating furniture underscore app. Our Flutter project is created successfully. For example, if I show you the desktop, you can see that this is my AR furniture app and which is for the Android and for the iOS platform. If I show you now the Android Studio, then as you see, it is for the Android and for the iOS only. So now the next thing is, let's quickly remove these comments from here. You do not need that. Then here we will type the title that is, this is our Flutter IKEA clone app. IKEA clone app and we do not need this my home page default code so make sure to minimize that and let's just then remove that here from here let's remove this now the code files that is the dot programming that is the screens you can say or the app pages that code files we will create inside the lift folder for example currently the project starting point which is the main dot dot as it starts from the main method so inside the lib we have this main dot dot file so what i'm going to do we are going to create our first screen so let's just click on lib right click on lib new dot file and we will give it name as uh, home underscore screen press enter so home, home underscore screen dot dot file is created successfully as you can see. Now I will import the material dot dot. So this is our first 
screen which we created for our this Flutter project. Let's create a stateful widget and we will give it name as home screen just like this. And for now, we will just display a hello message just to check if it is working or not. So we can say scaffold and let's quickly add a title that is app bar and in the app bar we will just display a simple title that is using the text widget that is um, AR let's say instead of AR we can say IKEA clone so in the title we will just display IKEA clone on our home screen now come back here to the main dot dot and the home screen will be our first screen so here we can say in front of home home screen that is our app will start from the home screen just like this and the default color of our entire app will be will be purple let's go with colors dot purple so now we are ready to test our application on our android smartphone as well as on the iphone so first i'm going to connect my android phone my samsung phone of course if you have any android smartphone you can connect it using data cable with your computer so now there is my phone as you can see this is my samsung phone and now let's just click on this play button in order to install the app on my android smartphone as you can see on the app bar we see the title which is ikea clone which is our home screen basically ikea clone now the next thing that we will do is we will remove this banner as you can see this debug banner so for that purpose in here in our man dot dot file above the home we can say debug show check mode banner and we will set this to false so it will basically remove that banner so now let's just install the app again on my phone in your case of course you can install the app on your phone So the app is running now and here you can see. So now let's just test also our app on the iPhone. So for that purpose I'm going to close this. I will open up the iOS simulator that is the iPhone. Now let's just install the app on our iPhone. So let's just click on the play button and it will install this AR furniture app on our iPhone SE. So let's just wait for it. So the app has been installed successfully on our iPhone and you can see that on the app bar we see IKEA clone as a title.